How low can Chinese monetary reserves go? By www.forexconspiracyreport.com In years to come, we may look back on today as when China's monetary reserves crossed the invisible border between substantial and insufficient. Bloomberg reports that China reserves edge below $3 trillion due to continued pressure on the yuan. China's foreign currency reserves edged just below $3 trillion in January, falling to the lowest since early 2011 after the yuan capped its steepest annual decline in two decades. Key points. Reserves fell $12.3 billion to $2.998 trillion, the People's Bank of China said Tuesday. That compares with the $3.004 trillion estimate in a Bloomberg survey of economists. The central bank's intervention in foreign exchange markets drove the drop, as did seasonal factors such as high demand for other currencies during the week-long Lunar New Year holiday, the state administration of foreign exchange said in a statement. The continued need to support the UN is due to two factors. One is that the Chinese growth miracle is stagnating, and the other is that those who became rich during the years of spectacular growth are bailing out of China and taking their money with them. We ask the question, will China run out of money, in a recent article. China's foreign currency reserves have been falling steadily for a couple of years as the nation tries to stem the outflow of capital to foreign assets and currencies. Last month, we wrote about China losing its currency reserves. As China's economic miracle unfolded, the nation accumulated impressive foreign currency reserves. In 2015, Chinese reserves reached $4 trillion, and since then has been falling as China has sought to support a falling yuan. According to Trading Economics, reserves are down to $3.16 trillion as of September of 2016. Bloomberg reports that Chinese reserves fell $80 billion more in October. They suggest that China could be due for a shock fall in foreign exchange reserves. The problem for China is that they need several tens of billions in foreign currency reserves for foreign trade, so going to zero is not a viable option. Open Markets and ROI Only in Yuan China is trying to reattract foreign investment. The problem today is that investors cannot be sure that they will be able to repatriate their profits back into dollars, euros, or British pounds. Bloomberg reports that investors worry about exits despite new investment opportunities. China's doors to foreign investors may be opening ever wider, but that's not enough for many worried about finding an exit. Fourteen months after qualifying for official reserve currency status and after a series of steps opening up domestic markets to overseas funds, the take-up remains below estimates. For all, China's attraction as the second largest economy with large and expanding domestic capital markets, regulators' efforts to tamp down on outflows of money have stoked concerns. There's no return lower than not getting your money back. Brad Holtzberger, chief money manager at Q Super Limited, an Australian pension fund that oversees the equivalent of $47 billion, said in a January 13th interview, We're worried about understanding the transparency of decision making, as well as property rights, rule of law, transmission of capital controls, and those sorts of things. If more capital does not flow into China and capital outflow persists, there may be a substantially lower limit for Chinese foreign currency reserves than the trillion dollars that the land of managed capitalism once had in reserves. For more insights and useful information about Forex markets and trading, visit www.forexconspiracyreport.com.